our school of medicine is having very strong links. Like for the sickle cell uh, research project, we, have, we are linked with the Ball State University from the US. Uh, you saw the visitors here during the, the, the conference last week. And uh, we also have other linkages. And the cancer project is going to be done by the Swedish uh, University, which is going to be connected. The anatomy teaching and surgery were linked to um, Stanford University, Professor Servastava and uh, Dr. Lukman are already uh, adjunct lecturers here. And we are going to do video conferencing uh, with telemedicine. Uh, Stanford University is the most advanced university in tele telemedicine. So we are going to do that. In fact, we are told that we will be able even to share patient care through the same system. The birth diagnosis we are going to share through the same system. So we are linked to many universities. We have also British University of British Columbia in Canada who are very interested. They have sent here uh, Michael Cohen, the, uh, the surgeon, to have a look at what we are doing, see if they can develop interest. So it's amazing how many international universities uh, want us to be part of them. Within Africa, we have a, a conglomerate of Southern African universities, which we abbreviate as CONSAMS. I've attended conferences and meetings with them. Professor James Agrio Law is a very strong member for this school on CONSAMS, a confederation of universities of Southern Africa. We are more than 25 uni universities, medical schools. Eh? That's a very strong linkage where we are going to share students and teachers as far down as Namibia, South Africa, Mozambique, now Nigeria has come on board. So I think we believe in linkages and they are coming. You know, this gives our students and teachers opportunities to exchange. You know, it's nice during the training if a teacher or a student can also go and live in another medical school for a short while to get, to gain experiences, international experiences.